Let's go guys, welcome back to another episode of Explore Rigs. Uh, this time we got the Endless Odyssey, we got Brad here. Mate, what a weapon. Yeah, it's come up pretty well. We've um, just hit the road, yep. finished her off about five months ago, and yeah, yeah just giving her a test out, see how she goes. Perfect, well we're actually up at Mission Beach, so we're just cruising around. Uh, we're on our way up to Cape York, we ran into these guys last night. We had a couple of beers, and uh, we decided we'd shoot a rig review on the big troopy. So, let's get straight into it. She is a 2013 GXL, Trupco, of course. Yep. Um, 240,000 Ks on it. I've, right. owned, I've owned it for about sort of five years. Yep. Yeah, and just slowly chipped away at the whole build. So when you got it, what sort of spec was it in? Um, so it's pretty much stock. Yep. Had this original front bar on it, and that was it. So no roof conversion, no nothing? Nothing, no, yep. no. So, so it's been yeah. a hell of a build. It has, yeah. It's taken a while, but we're, we're finally there. And uh, obviously you guys are on the road now, but what was the whole idea? What did you build the truck for? What trip are you doing at the moment? So we're doing about 12 months around Oz. Yeah. So yeah, we've just geared it up for, for this trip, and yeah, see where we end up. Living the actual dream, 12 <laughs> months on the road, cruising around. Uh, very jealous, mate. But um, all right, we'll get into it like we usually do. We'll start at the front, work our way around. So we have Ironman bar steadies. They're just your sports. Run bar, 13,000 pound winch. Mount of the box up in the grill. Yeah, it looks just neat, eh? For a bit, bit of your access and obviously got the third light. The side lights too. Yeah, just got some little steady that, that's good for some spread. Yeah. Proline automotive. Yeah, they look nice. these headlights, yeah. It yeah. does, does a real tidy job, man. Real neat work, so pretty stoked on that one. Custom grill too. Custom grill, yeah. Chipped away that one. This is GME. Just all your XRS gear throughout yep. the car, so yeah, works a treat. Nice front end, let's pop the bonnet and have a look. Right, oh, we're under the bonnet. She's getting a little bit busy, mate. There's plenty <laughs> going on under here. Uh, run us through it. So, J Max Engineering, twin pod airbox. Looks flash. It is pretty flash. <laughs> it is flash. Looks unreal. Just good to keep an eye on your filters as well. So It is actually pretty impressive that you can see them, see how bloody destroyed and dirty and muddy and whatnot. Well, they shouldn't be getting muddy, hopefully, but um, <laughs> dirty they're getting. Uh, what else we got? GSL fans. Yep. Factory uh, cooler still. Factory cooler still. Yep. Diff breathers over that side. Pretty standard. Um, is that got, an upgraded brake booster? Yeah. So we got the Bendix throughout the whole rig. Yep. Um, so that's their dual diaphragm brake booster yep which um yeah she stops nice once you start getting this sort of weight um it's something that people definitely overlook but upgraded brakes is a is a bit of a must everyone sort of forgets about that they go faster they go heavier and they forget they got to stop 100 percent, 100 percent. and then um yeah so we've got two water tanks under the car yep but yeah fillers for the middle tank filler for the rear tank and oh. then just your breather hose oh sick yeah and then you run an aftermarket uh fuel filter yeah fuel filter uh catch can catch as well can. yeah just all your basic sort of cruiser stuff man yep and uh, a couple of bonnet straps yeah struts too. bt cruiser straps <laughs> they are a must i reckon i should actually get a set of them mate. i'm overdue 100 percent um i got them on the patrol while well, the patrol come factory and then you go to lift your cruiser bonnet up and forget <laughs> All right, happy days. Looks bloody flash under here. Is there a dual battery or just a single just, one? Oh, the just under the bonnet's <clears throat> the single. Yep. Got the other battery in the back of the car. Perfect. All right, let's work our way down the side. Obviously, you got the scrub bars, Iron Man as well, I'm guessing. These are ARB. Well, there you go, I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> ARB, scrubs and steps. Scrubs and steps, yep. And then uh, let's go underneath. So, wheels and tires. Yep. So, the wheels, ROHs, the hammers. Yep. They're in a 16 by 10. And then we just got the Cooper's Discoveries on there. I think they're just, I think they're a 305, yeah. 305, 305. so 30. They're about a 33 and a half. 33. Yeah. What about um, suspension? Yeah, so under this bus, we've got the GVM upgrade. We've got the BP51s in there. Yep. Um, throughout the car, remote resi. And um, yeah, she's all engineered for tyre size, wheels, suspension, suspension. a lot. Yeah. Happy, happy with it? Happy, super stoked with the um, the BP fifty ones. Yeah, yeah sick. Yeah. All right, let's keep cruising. On the side, uh, MSA towing mirrors. They look pretty fresh, actually. They are. Yeah. Just before the trip, I actually smashed one of these side ones off, so yep. it was time to upgrade. Yep. So yeah, the MSAs were 
my pick yep. because they're just super nice and compact. They don't stick out like massive. Oh, they're so clean, there. eh? They're a really nice mirror there. Yeah, I'm a big fan. Yep. Now, this is pretty cool. I love seeing this on the side of Trukies. So, four Max tracks, and then this is a table, eh? Yeah, 100%. So, this, we've probably used this thing the most out of like everything that we put on the car. I didn't think we were going to use it that much, I but it has eh? become. A must. Is this the uh, is this the bar? Is this where everyone hangs around? Hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wonder how we can do one of them. The mesh on the side. I'm guessing this will make more sense when we get inside. It will. Just so we can have the inside windows open. Yeah. And yeah, I couldn't find. It took me a long time to find these guys. They're a real old school company. Yep. Complete sliding windows down in South Oz, and they just only relay by phone. Yeah, right. So it's tricky to get stuff off them, but the quality of the product is, is epic. They just fit straight on the factory windows. And is this theirs as well? No, nah, this is a Thorburn's Gullwing window. Yep. Uh, these boys are from Sydney. So that one just pops up and then... Oh, right, oh. Yeah. So yeah. run us through, this is sort of your recovery. Yeah, just a bit of recovery gear. Um, got USBs in here. Got another light that lights up up there. Um, PowerPoint for when we're cooking on the table. Oh, yep, outside, yep. yep. And then, yeah, just airing up and airing down kit. Um, we've got all the max tracks, deflate, um, and yeah, just all your standard recovery sort of stuff. Super neat, super tidy. I always wanted these on my um, 76, but just never got around to doing it. But yeah. it gives you good access, hey? 100%. It's, it's so good. And then, like, when we're cooking on the induction, too, we can just plug it straight in here. Yeah. Straight on the table, and away we go. There we go. Happy all outdoor kitchen. Yeah. Um, and then up top, you've got your... Uh, Awning, 270 awning, is yep. it? Yep, Alley Cab 270 awning. Yep. Um, Good awning, I, I've, I've used one before. Yeah, they're a great Simple. bit of gear. And I also got this wrapped as well, just to make oh, it. Oh, yep. Yeah, just to get rid of that white, just so it all blends in black, just to stand out just a little that little bit more. So. Yeah. No, it looks good. Something different. Um, these little guards are a little bit fancier than your, than your garden edging. Yeah, 100%. So I had hate mud on the car. Yep. Um, and the easiest way to fix that is just fill all the holes, really. So yeah, we just got some poly, chuck that on, and then they tie in with the um, Styleworks offset mud flaps. Yeah. The offset rims, and um, yeah, just trying to keep the car as clean as we can. Super clean. So it actually loops all the way around here, tucks in underneath the uh, plate on the side step. Um, looks factory, actually. And the, the, the rear mud flaps are very cool the way that they stick out too. Yeah, so that company, they specifically make these for the offset cars. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it works a, works an absolute treat and it sort of looks looks pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I like cruising around the back of the truck. There's a couple of sneaky things on the side that we'll talk about while we're making our way around. So this one's a shower, I'm guessing. Shower cube, yeah. So yep. this one just pops out, which integrates into this gullwing window. Give, so, us, give us a look. Pop this one open. Oh, this is the uh, so, this is the ensuite. This mate. is the ensuite. So, yeah, <laughs> living on the road as we are. So we just got the 150 watt red arc solar blanket. Okay. Heaps is topped up. Yep. And then yeah, when that's all sorted, hot water system comes out on this swing away bracket. Yep. Gas line straight into the gas bowl on the back. Water straight into that outlet there. Epic. Away we go. Super neat. So shower. if you haven't seen these showers, two swing out arms. Gives you basically a nice little shower curtain here. And then um, can you access this through the curtain or? Yeah, so yeah. the curtain got a cut on out. the back of this has got a cut out. Then we yeah. just stick some magnets on here. Oh, and right. just magnets straight on there, yeah. Epic. So it's fully sealed, pretty much a fully sealed unit. Yeah, that's cool. Big fan actually. And uh, what's up above that one? So up above that one, um, that is holding spear gun. Yep. And then two rods. Perfect. As well, so yeah, it just, it's all fully lockable. I'm getting a few ideas off this truck. <laughs> I think I might need to put one of them on mine too. I always struggle to find somewhere for me spear guns and, and bits and pieces. So yeah, that's a that's a that's a real good little contraption. Whose box is that? Super storage. Super storage. There you go. It was a. It's actually meant for um, tent poles. Yeah. Tent pole storage. So the good thing too, those two end caps have 50 mil of foam. Yeah. So stuff's not yeah not banging around. banging into it. Yeah. Uh, and this is pretty cool the way you got your um is that solar in as well yeah so we've got water out yeah we've got air out yeah so that's hard lined into the arb compressor yep and we got solar in and then we just got power out power so out. We're, yeah super neat so yeah it's good because we obviously don't want to park in the sun because we're sleeping in this thing so yep. it's good to just plug the solar in and just sit it out so who did all this this is thorburns 
Yeah. And then I just installed everything. Okay. So yeah, those boys have helped us out a lot with this truck. Yeah. Um, and they do some really neat kit. Cool little uh, ladder, just for getting up on the roof rack and that. Yeah, 100%, yeah. So just loading up the roof. Yeah. Um, this was a local guy from home, uh, Elite Fab. I just took it into him and said, Pretty much I wanted the ladder to follow the contours of the troopy and he's killed it. Yeah, he's nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. Yeah, it's one thing that is always comes in handy if you have that proper ladder always there to just get on and off the roof rather than jumping off the side and sending it. Definitely. All right, we'll cruise around the back. What else we got? Oh, we'll run through roof rack and little bits while we're here as well. So just a big rhino rack up top. Yeah, just a big rhino rack, the platform. It was 2.7 long and when I chopped the roof, I just cut that down to suit the size. Yeah. And then, yeah, just threw some, um, some steadies up there, just as some little, camp lights. Little camp lights, yeah, yeah. I really need to get around. Well, I think we're going to change up our roof rack as well and put a couple little side lights on and bits and pieces. Yeah. Um, we're getting to the good stuff. Wait till you see the back of this thing. But um, let's jump inside the truck now. We'll have a look at the cockpit and then we'll come around to where all the magic happens. So we've just jumped in the cockpit here. There is a lot going on. So we've got a bit to run through. It's always cool to see different 70 series uh, interior. I guess this is where you really make it your own, eh? Hundred percent, and especially with all the all the products on the market now, you, you've got a lot to choose from. Yeah, bucket loads. Mate. Yeah, heaps. So, um, all right, we'll run through it real quick. I'll just point out what I can see, but obviously you got a, this looks like a fully custom. Oh, is this part of the roof conversion? That's part of the roof conversion. Oh, yeah. Oh, sick. Yeah. Okay, right. So he's got a storage compartment up here. Um, and then your little hat holders are pretty cool. Yeah. That's custom, mate. Always got to have them. Yeah, they yeah. were on the road actually. We yeah. Sick of throwing them around everywhere. So. Yeah. Yeah. Up top. Then uh, you got your Hema H1X, is it? Ah, uh, that's the new HX2. Oh, the flash yeah, one. Yeah, that's the flash one. So we upgraded that at Brizzy. Yeah. Four by four show. Yeah, nice. Which was really good purchase. Did you rate it? It's really good. So much better than the old one. I might have to get on it. Hundred percent. I wasn't a big fan of the old one. Nah. So these ones are more like your Apple Maps. Okay. It is so much easier. Yep. Uh, then obviously your GME XRS, which we uh, seen up front. No custom wheel, mate. What happened? No custom wheel. I just <laughs> couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. It's on the list, but the list is long. Still long. So you're running the Kenwood uh, head unit. Yep. Yep. Kenwood head unit. It's perfect. Upgraded little uh, top on the gear stick yep. there. Little extension on that. Extension is. Uh, I've got a little 50 mil extension on mine as well. It just brings it up a little bit higher for anyone that's driving a 70. Um, if you're not a big long arm bugger, <laughs> a little extension on the gear stick is a, is a really cool cheap little mod that um, that sort of makes it a lot easier when you drive around. Just comfort. Speaking of comfort, you got the uh, one stone armrest on the side. They are a must. They're pretty much an absolute must for any cruiser. No one does a better job than the one stone boys to be honest. Department of Interior Centre Console. Mackay Auto Marine and Trimming. Mackay Auto Marine and Trimming. Yeah, so I thought it looked a little bit more custom. Yeah, so they're pretty new to the market, these guys. Um, I've just seen them on Instagram. Yep. Hit them up. Um, really like their work and the fact that they do this bigger holder here, which yep. holds your bigger drink bottles. I know, that's actually it's, a, a bit of a situation in my car. My yeah. drink bottles is a little bit fat up. If I pull the cup holder out, it fits. Yeah, so this one fits in there perfect. And I just like yep. the way they taper that back too. It just... Yeah, it's pretty neat. Yeah, the finish is... Is amazing so i was pretty happy with these guys um yeah something different and then you've got uh obviously seats what are we sitting on yeah so these are proline automotive from brisbane yep um so yeah they're just a custom custom set of leather, leather seats are they, are they an xr6 seat rewrapped or? these are a gts gds yeah yep out of the holden out of the holden yeah um what have i missed what else have we got little little uh heat shield on the front of the, the windscreen there yeah yeah and it keeps a bit of the reflection off the bonnet as well Oh, yep, so, with, yes. with what, what, driving it. Yeah, just driving when the sun's coming straight down on it. Yep. Just, yeah, reflects that, reflects that off really nice. Happy days. And what have you done over here? Snuck a couple of power outlets in the... Yeah, so that's a <laughs> really useless little hole. So, it is. yeah, we've just um, just put a couple of USBs in there and a little 12 volt there. Yeah. And then just tapped it into the system. That keeps the missus happy. She that can does, charge yeah. all the phones bits and pieces. Charging point. We've got a couple down here. Yep. Some more there. Got the Sick. scan gauge down here as well. Yep. And yeah. Pretty well wraps it up. All right. Well, I'm dying to get in the back of this thing. So <laughs> let's go around and let's get stuck into it. Right, oh, mate. Uh, so you got two swingaways here. One with your spare wheel, obviously. Crash bad uh, bin bag. Yep. Nice little gas bottle mount too off the back of that pole there and a yep. shovel mount. Yeah, it's a nice little spot for the shovel, eh? Yeah, it's good, man. It's got the new Rhino Rack quick release um, clips there. So, yeah, yep, just two buttons. 
you come straight off. I don't even know what's in here, but uh, let's go. What's in the What's in the mystery box? So this took ages. Um, I wanted to take a Weber with me. Yeah. Love cooking on a Weber. Yeah. Wasn't keeping it inside because they stink. Yeah. And this was the only option. So I've done a bunch of research on how to make this box work and be fully legal as well. Yep. So yeah, took took a fair bit of time, but that's exactly what we come up with. You're kidding. How good's that? So the gas is permanently mounted in here too. Gas is permanently mounted in there. Yep. I hacked at the Weber so we could get it as low as possible. Yeah. So yeah. That's sick. That's rad. Because it is so good cooking on a Weber like we I've got nowhere in my car to put a Weber. Yeah. Um, so there's one comes out of the front of that little Patriot box and we had one in the vision. I always make sure I got a Weber as well because it's what you cook on all the time, eh? 100%. And this, why it took me so long to do this box as well. A lot of people do them, but you can't actually swing this open, open the box and still open the back door. I was wondering if you had to pivot it around yeah. to open it, but that's cool. So that's, yeah, that's, that's why it took us so long. Yeah. And you get good actual like good wind protection here too. Hundred percent. Yeah. Blowing a gale, you literally just push it. In. Yeah. Straight back in. Yep. And away you go. Unreal. So yeah. Frothing on that. <laughs> all right. Let's open this big girl up. Righto. Here we go. This is where all the magic happens. This could be very dangerous. I'm a little bit scared to see this because I might end up building a truby. I've thought about building a truby for a long time, and this looks like it's probably one of the better ones I've seen. So I'm a bit scared. But all right. Let's go. Run us through it. We'll sort of um. Let's just pop it all up. Pop it all up. Yeah, get it up in it. No yeah. worries. So she's all popped up. Uh, run us through what brand it is, mate, and uh, what 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 the go is. Yeah. So it's Alucab Hercules rooftop conversion. Yep. Yep. So I went and uh, peak off road in Sydney. Went and seen Ivan down there. We had a squizzit one, seen yeah. how they all worked, yeah. and we just couldn't go past it. Yeah, 100%. All right, so the idea is you can either sleep up top, and then you can pop the whole thing up um, so that you can sort of live down the bottom, eh? Yeah, yeah. Just give us a look, show us how it's done. So you pop that one straight up. That's our little hatch to get in there. Step up there to get up into bed. And when we're not sleeping, let's pop that false floor up there, and you've got all the room in the world. All right, we're in. We're in home sweet home. It's actually got pretty good head height in here too, mate. It does, aren't? yeah. There is actually a lot of room. It makes makes this spot sort of livable when you're yeah. on the road. Yeah, it's really good. 100%. All right, so there's a lot to run through in here, guys. We'll do our best to, to capture everything. But um, we'll leave the roof up for now. We'll show you the bed in a minute. But let's start um, Let's start up front here and we'll work our way back. So uh, run us through. You, you built all of this side. I built this side. Yep. I've got some guys to cut it out for me. And then I just got it flat packed. Build it all up, customize it a little bit. Yep. Um, until it was just right. So, you got the big. It's not a travel buddy. It's a road chef. Road chef. Yeah. But that's a bigger one than, than what I'm running. Yeah, it comes in cool. super handy. Been right near the front seats as well. So, you, you, so just, you use it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm. Uh, I think I. I don't know. I forget I've got it and I never use it. So I'm still on the fence whether I would put one in my next truck or not. But I know a lot of people do absolutely love them. Um, and then just keep running us through, mate. So this is just storage. Yeah, that's just all camera gear storage. Um, yeah, just charges and all that. And then we've got the... That's all your 12 volt system? That's all the 12 volt in there, yeah. We've yep. got the Red Arc Red Vision system sitting under here. Oh, nice, nice. Nice and easy access. Yep. Um, and then, yeah, all the magic happens down in here. We've got the uh, BMS 30, got the 2000 watt inverter and a 200 amp hour lithium battery. Perfect, that's all you need. The, yep. the, the uh, Red Arc Red Vision system is just so... So good for touring vehicles. It just yeah. makes everything super easy. Um, food storage in, in here? Yeah, just dry food storage in all of these guys. Do you do much cooking inside or you just sort of... Not... Mainly cook outside, you just use the storage? Yeah, mainly cook outside. The What does come in handy though is when it is bad weather, yep. we can cook in here. Yeah, Just chuck it. the induction, power point under here, there yep. we go. This is pretty cool. I like this nice little custom bench top. Yeah, so that's a slab of mango tree. Sick. Yeah, super lightweight, yep. but you still get that nice, thick, hard, heavyweight. Yeah, look. it looks like a big slab of um, bloody thick hardwood timber. Yeah. And then a uh, little sink tucked in under here, and that's cool how they got an infill so that you still got the uh, workable bench space. Still got the workable, yeah. Um, water. Flash black fit out, mate. Black taps, yeah, eh? Yeah, you gotta do it. He's super fancy in here, <laughs> let me tell you. So running running water is that hot and cold or once can you plug the hot in or is it just cold? That's just cold. Yeah. Yeah. So um, that that one's hooked up to a 90 liter tank. Yep. Under the guts, 
and then we've got another Thorburns tank under the back here, which is a 45 litre tank. Sweet. Um, so these are just nice slide out drawers. This is where we're saying it's all these um, dry, dry foods and bits and pieces. Yep. What do you got? Oh, obviously, that's the sink. That's the sink, yep. This one under here is just towel, linen storage. Underneath? Uh, that's just bits and pieces, yep. just random. shackles, just random stuff you don't really use, but you should have. And then you got a nice fridge on the back there too. Yeah, got the Bushman's upright 85 litre fridge, Perfect. 7 litre freezer. Yep. Does us just right. Yeah, that's unreal. Alright, what about on, uh, we'll do a Yui. What do we got on this side here? So his and hers pretty much, so, yep. yep. Logan storage for clothes. Yep. It's all bits and bobs, bits and pieces. Quite, she was allowed quite to bring. neat. Yeah, done well. <laughs> and then yeah, that's just my one. So it's yep. just super easy access. Um, the reason we went with the upright like this as well that we can still access both of these with the roof down. Oh yeah, cool. Yeah. So yeah, so while the roof's down, you can sneak in here and grab yeah. what you need. Yep. Down the bottom there, we just that's where the ARB um, twin compressor is. Yep. And then just drones and bits and pieces down there. And then this obviously works well just as a seat. So if it's pouring rain, you can sit in here and yeah, chill have out. a beer, chill out, cook yeah. dinner on the induction. Um, what about the floor? So I, I was just at a, at a ply, local ply shop one day and I seen this there. And it's yeah. just a little textured sort of... Yeah, it looks good, eh? Oh, yeah, so I chucked it in. It just finished it off. Finished it off nicely. Yeah. Um, all right, so the other cool thing I noticed is there's a couple of Sirocco fans. There is, yeah. So is that for, well, I guess multi-purpose. You can use them when the top's up, when you're hiding in here. Yep. And then um, when the bed drops down, does it work for in the bed? It works for in the bed too, yep. yeah, perfect. So So basically, guys, roof comes down and then uh, you slide up into bed. So we'll drop that down. I'll shove the GoPro up there and give you a bit of a look. So there you go, guys. Literally just pull the bed down. It's that simple. Uh, and you've basically got your full rooftop tent set up. Uh, the only thing that's missing, mate, is your pillows. Where do the pillows go? They just sit on top of these cupboards. Yeah, yeah. and so you just so. throw the pillows in when you go to bed. Yeah, yeah. Um, unfortunately we can't shut the roof with the pillows. With the pillows, just yep. because we've upgraded that mattress as well. So slightly thicker mattress. Slightly thicker, yeah. But yeah, it's no drama chucking two pillows up. At least you can keep all your bedding up here, right? Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fancy little bedding, have a go at it. They got, they got their own. <laughs> their own bedspread. That's a bit flash. I don't even have my own bedspread. I'm gonna have to work on that. Um, the last little thing, guys, I guess to run through. Oh, she's a fancy latch. Fancy little latch. It's just the um, back storage. So, fridge. This is sort of your little little pantry for your bits and pieces. Yeah, just prepping man. Stuff straight out of the fridge, straight on here. Yeah. Where we go. So it's got the extra. Oh, oh sick. Slide out the well. table. Yeah. And then you can cook with your barbie around there when this is all opened up as well. Yeah, yeah, 100%. So yeah, that box still opens up when it's in that position. Yep. And that's, yeah. that's a good little bit of storage too, eh? Yeah, that was just an anaconda special. You got enough um, surfboard wax, mate? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's got four packets of surfboard wax, just in case. Never have too much. And then uh, if you sneak around this side, just a little bit more storage. Um, oh, that's your little drop down for your washing up tub, Yeah, eh? so we can oh, wash sick. up in that. Little pop out tub. Jeez, that's, that's sick, isn't it? And yeah, give us a couple of options to either if you want to wash up in the sink, yeah, or just wash, wash up in that yeah. side. Happy days, that's, yeah. that's super neat. Um, then just sneaking around here, guys, we can see um, this is where his red vision system is. So this is where he's able to control everything, turn all his water and bits and pieces on, uh, which is super neat. And then I'm guessing, mate, just outdoor lights with dimmers, eh? Yeah, yeah. So we got two back door lights here. Yep. There and there. This light here runs the whole way through the car. Yep. And then they're just your camp lights up around the roof rack. Epic. Yeah. What about this little hatch? So that's got the goods in it. That's the coffee, little morning coffee hatch. Ah, oh, perfect. So there's, yeah. There's nooks and crannies everywhere. Eh? And, and I guess with the troopy, that's what you got to do. Eh? You got to just make the most of every little space 100%. you can. Yeah. Well, I don't think you've missed any space. What, we've got one more drawer. I keep finding stuff. Oh, so this is the, uh, oh wow, it's massive. Yeah. So that's your washing up tub that sneaks in there. Yeah. So that one sneaks in there. And that's all your pots and pans. Pots and pans, induction bits and pieces Can't that comes cool. out more bits and pieces in there a couple of tools in the back but yeah um, yeah this was one of the things when i talked to these boys adventure fit outs yeah i've done this side for me yeah they've done a good job they've right? done a killer job like you just cut it like cut drill it all up exactly how we wanted it and yep. it just fit in so snug yeah no they've done an unreal job yeah happy days all right guys well there we go i reckon this has got to be one of the baddest troopies uh that i've ever been through and i have put my nose in a few traveling around every time i see one i sort of like have a look at all the different setups 
But um, look guys, if you want to know any more, smack down in the questions below. Um, we'll try and answer as many of the questions as we can. If you want to follow Brad and Logan on their adventure, jump over to their Instagram page. We'll link all the descriptions below guys. And uh, you'll, you've got a lot more photos and bits and pieces. And if you've got any like in-depth questions that you want to know, hit them up on social media. 100%. But mate, well done. She's an absolute weapon, eh? Thank you very much. Yeah, it's been a, been a while, but we're finally here. So how long um, have you, how long you been on the road, and how long you got? Uh, so we've been on the road about three months. Yeah. And yeah, we've got about twelve months off, and then we'll just see where we end see up. See what happens. Yeah. Mate, you haven't been west coast yet, eh? Nah. Well, he's in for a treat. You might actually use all that surfboard wax. <laughs> but uh, anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed this, uh, make sure you hit that like button. We appreciate it. Shout out to all our subscribers. Till next time, make sure you get out and enjoy the explore life.